sometimes you might want to create your own uh, building blocks that you want to use again and again. In order to do that, you can simply grab up some shapes. Let's say I want to create something uh, like an information uh, inform informatory uh, box, just like that. So I'm going to drag a box right here. I'm going to drag in another box. Let's say I'm going to drag this out just like that, which is going to be the title box right here. I'm going to choose a color, for example, this one, a yellow color. And for this one, I'm simply going to choose this type of a color right here. For this, I'm going to say that this is a title. I want to center line it. Uh, I'm going to go over here, center line it, and I'm uh, going to go into format right here, center line that, just like that. I'm going to increase this in size as well. So let me just increase this in size. There you go. And I want to use this as an information as well. So information right here, information. I'm just going to make a template so I'm not going to worry about the information that I actually keep right here. All right. So once I do everything, I'm simply going to select this, right click on it, and I'm going to group this out first. First, you have to group it out to make uh, a building block. So once it's grouped, you can actually right click. And over here, you can see that you can now save this as a building block. So you can simply click on save as a building block and it, it'll ask you what you want to name the building block. So you can give it a title. For example, I'm going to say information box right here. And you can also add in a description if you want. And you can choose the gallery where you want to uh, add in this description. So I'm going to say paste parts. And over here in the category, I'm going to say that this is the stories right there. You can also add in keywords so that it is easy for you to find. But anyways, I'm just going to click OK right there. So now I'm going to delete this. And if I want to insert it again, I can simply go into insert and I kept it on my paste parts. And here it is. It's the recently used. And you can also scroll down and you can see that it is there on the story section. So you can simply click it and it appears just like that. Uh, you, you can simply go over here again. So I'm going to go into uh, my insert. I'm going to go into paste parts and I can go over here again to bring out another version of it. If I want to add in um, um, add in a building block, I can simply select this out as well. And I can go into paste parts right here and add the selection to paste part as well. So if I were to make something else, I can actually select this. I can also go into the base design, choose different color schemes and the uh, and the layout actually changes according to the color scheme I choose for the overall document. So that is how you can create your own building blocks inside of Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.